No, there's something mysterious, something that humanity hasn't known that we call spiritual. And for the most part, our culture has allowed spiritual things to remain mysterious. This spiritual program that we speak of as emissaries of divine light is devoted to making the spiritual real in human experience. So what's been thought of as up there or mysterious or invisible to become real to us and practical because it's moving in our experience. Emissaries of Divine Light is devoted to spiritual expression, to a quality of spirit moving through the human experience at the highest level of human experience, at the level of the capstone. And when something is moving powerfully, strongly there, it animates everything else, all the rest of the pyramid of human experience. It brings love into the human heart. It brings life into the human body and it lights up the human mind. It radiates through the rest of the human experience. How do we access the mysterious of the spiritual, the mystery? It begins with an acknowledgement at the mental level that I don't know. It happens in a way that I cannot control mentally. It happens at a level that's higher than the mental process. And in fact, spiritual expression and spiritual movement in our human experience is not initiated by us. We can open to it, but it's initiated at a level higher than the human. When we hear the call of what's higher than us and answer it, then that call is moving through us powerfully as spiritual expression. Out of our control, oh, God forbid, we're not controlling it. It is moving us. It has a control of itself. It has an authority unto itself. And when we give up, surrender, our attempts to be masterful and in control as a human being and submit to the ordering power of love, that begins to work through us. Spirit begins to work through us. The mystery begins to work through us. Bringing a solution and an answer that comes in no other way. And then all our might and all our power and all our emotion becomes animated, activated from above and becomes relevant and important, and it becomes significant in our world. It becomes a means for us to radiate, to have presence and influence in the world, and have the joy of being a human being, instead of the agony of having a life that we're desperately trying to control, but which is actually out of control.